monsters are real. I feel the presence of evil seeping into the shadows of the room, replacing their innocent blackness with horrible fanged creatures. Their hot and human breath inches from my ear. My dreams, gaping mouths, flesh-rending teeth, chasing me through dark corridors. Of course I wake, hearing my own screams echoing in the room. I can never really deny my fear. Even daylight, the strongest of remedies, falls short, leaving me hollow and exhausted, living in fear of the next night to come. So, anyway, I went to Taco Bell the other day and bought myself a burrito. I couldn't wait to sink my teeth into that big, cheesy, beanie, tortilla-wrapped goodness. And then something wondrous happened. I knew from then on that my life was going to get a whole lot better. Skipping through the park with my new burrito. Got a big fat smile on his tortilla face. Scoping for the chicks, he's my best friend in the world. We always have fun, but I love him for his taste. Oh, so happy, oh, so happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good times, happy, oh, so happy, yeah, 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 yeah. Good times, happy, oh, so happy, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, don't squirt me. <laughs> Hi, damn it, you son of a bitch! The burrito's outburst was troubling at the time, and it made me feel more than a bit uncomfortable. But we forgot all about it over a tall, cool glass of iced mocha. As we were returning to my apartment that afternoon, we ran into my neighbor, Doobie Schmerdstein. From the looks of it, he had passed out by the lake, and man, was he surly. He took one look at my best friend and started ranting about how I shouldn't trust Mexican food and how God didn't intend burritos to be capable of thought and reason. According to Doobie, it was second to sodomy. Of course, he'd been doing whippets all weekend, so I ignored him. However, one thing Doobie said stuck in my mind. Monsters are real, man! And what you've got right there, that's a monster, man! It's a monster! I put Doobie's words in the back of my mind to make room for some happier thoughts. One week to the day, Doobie was found murdered in his apartment. Police arrested one of his friends. They locked him up in the booby hatch and threw away the key. After that ugly ordeal, I started locking my apartment door at night. After three hours, he let me in. Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, when I found that burrito, I was going to give him such a spanking. And I was going to ground him for a one whole day. I couldn't pass that offer up. I hadn't been drunk since this morning. And man, did I get drunk. Yeah, that's when things kind of got dim in my memory. Um, I remember the burrito gave me some kind of paper to sign, and I did it. 
And then after that, I got up on the bar and did my cool dance to pick up chicks. I was a sex machine, baby. Got home late. Made a glue and cheese sandwich out of glue and cheese. silence him. I walked into his apartment late one night, and I took the knife that I'm holding right now, and I stabbed him, and I cut him, and I ripped him to shreds, that bastard! Ah! You see, he ticked me off. What's he got behind his back there? someone. They turned out to be a will-forging, Satan-crazed bitch goddess. I can't tell you the last time I slept. My life is spent in an unending spiral of terror, waiting for the next nightmare. I've always believed in monsters. Monsters. 